Good morning. Today is the 27th of March, and I'm going to walk you on a Nearpod, through a Nearpod lesson on money. The code for today is PZFGI. Again, that's PZFGI. So you're going to take your code and put it in at Nearpod.com or on your device in the app, and you'll be linked right to our session so I can see all the hard work that you do. So, in order to join the session, you know the drill, you need to put in your name and hit join. Okay. So, for each one, we're going to go through some directions, but we'll walk through it together. So we have a nickel, which is five cents, a penny, which is one cent, and a quarter, which is 25 cents. So I'll label them for you. You don't have to label it. One of those times when I have to do more work than you. You're so lucky today. And now, we had reviewed that all of our silver coins have some touch points, which I'm going to draw on and make them green. So they help us count by fives in order to add up the total. So since there's just one and a nickel, it's five cents. And on a quarter, there's five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So if I touch them and count, I know that it's twenty-five cents. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So your only directions on this page were to circle the penny. So I did all this extra work to go through for you. All you need to do is circle the penny. So here's a nickel, a penny, and a quarter. Can you circle the penny? Great job. When you're done, hit submit. Now, your only job is to circle the quarter, but I'm going to go through the same practice. More work for me and less work for you, right? Your favorite. So, I'm going to put my touch points first this time. Switch it up. This is a dime. A dime is 10 cents. Five. 10. 10 cents. Okay. So now we're going to go to our quarter. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 cents. All right. And the last one is a penny. It's worth one cent. Remember, only our silver coins have the touch points. And my directions were to circle the quarter. So I'm going to go and circle the quarter. Did you circle the quarter when I was busy doing all that work? And you're done, hit submit. Okay, here we're circling the nickel. All right, so my nickel, I'm drawing my touch points, is worth five cents. I'll circle my nickel, and I hope you did too. A penny is one cent. It doesn't have any touch points. It's not a silver coin. And our quarter is worth five, 10, 15, 20, 25 cents. And parents, the really cool thing about the touch money system is that you don't have to sort the coins first or anything like that. You only have to count by fives, not fives and tens and twenty fives and ones. And you add the ones at the end, which we haven't gotten to yet. Okay, so we circled our nickel, then hit submit. Which coin is worth five cents? I think if I draw my touch money marks on it, it would make it easier to see which one is worth five cents. In order to buy that lollipop, we need to have five cents. So let's count five, where we have five, ten. And a penny is worth just one cent. It has no touch points. Ready? Which one's worth five cents? A nickel. When you're done circling the nickel, hit submit. Now our directions, which coin is worth ten cents? Remember, if we draw touch points, it's easy to remember which one's worth ten cents because we can just count. In order to buy that ball, we need 10 cents. A penny has no touch points. It's one cent. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's too much. Let's look at the last one. 5, 10. 10 and 10, it's a match. You need a dime to pay for 10 cents. When you're done, hit submit. Okay, so now, which coin is worth 25 cents? In order to buy this chocolate bar, my favorite, you will need 25 cents. So let's draw our touch points. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10. Now, 25 cents, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That quarter is enough to buy the chocolate bar. So I'm circling the coin worth 25 cents. When you're done circling that quarter, which is 25 cents, hit submit. Okay. So now, circle the $5 bill. The bills are paper. This is not a bill. So which one's worth five? You need to look on the corner of the bill to decide which one is five. Okay, this is a five dollar bill. It has a five in every single corner. So circle the five dollar bill. I circled it, I hope you did too. When you're done, hit submit. All right, now we need to circle two dollars. So we need to add them up. So this is $5. This is too much. Now here, if we're looking at the corner, we have 1 and 1. So I need to add 1 plus 1 in order to figure out how much I have all together. And 1 plus 1, like here I have pens. Okay? So if I have 1 and 1, then when I count them together, I have 1 two. So here is two dollars. And this shows me it's a ten. That's too much. So circle two dollars. We're circling the one in the middle. Two dollars and then hit submit. Okay. Circle the ten dollar bill. So now here is a five dollar bill I see by looking at the corner. This is 50 cents. It's coins. That's not dollar bills. Those are coins. Here's my $10 bill that I was looking for. When you're done finding the $10 bill, you circle it and then hit submit. I bet you can do it faster than I can. So now, here's a little review of our touch points. Touch coins. Tapping your way to count money. Before you can count money, you need to become familiar with the coins and quickly identify them. After you know the coins, you can use touch points to help find the sum of a set of coins. There is one major rule you need to remember when using the touch coins. Every touch point is worth five. Since every touch point is worth five, you'll need to be able to skip count by fives to find the values of the coins. You will also need to remember the placement of the touch points on each coin. These first two steps, identifying the coins and knowing where the touch points go on each coin, are necessary for success in counting coins. Let's look at the main coins we use for counting money. The first coin is a quarter. It has five touch points. Skip counting by five reveals that a quarter is worth 25 cents. Notice the Z pattern used for counting the touch points. Using a Z pattern will help avoid counting errors. The next coin is a dime. It has two touch points. Skip counting by fives reveal that a dime is worth 10 cents. The next coin is a nickel. It has only one touch point and so it is worth only five cents. The last coin is a penny. A penny has no touch points. To remind us that we don't count by fives for this coin, we draw a box around it. There's a little poem that helps remind us to count pennies by one. If there's one, or if there's many, put a box around the penny. Now let's see the touch coins in action. 
When given a set of coins, it is best to separate the silver coins from the copper pennies. Draw the touch points on the silver coins and put boxes around the pennies. Then use the touch points to skip count by fives. When you're done with the touch points, continue counting the pennies. Be sure to count by one and not five when counting the pennies. The great thing about the touch coins is that it doesn't matter what order the silver coins are placed in. It is best, however, to count the pennies last. This last slide shows how you would find a sum of a set of coins from a worksheet. The coins on a worksheet are not usually lined up in order, so you will need to draw the coins. Coins are represented by circles and touch points are added to match the coins from the problems you are solving. I'm going to pause it here because we haven't gotten this far yet. We're still working on just identifying our touch points on each coin. Okay. Now, count by fives, fill in the missing numbers. So we're actually going to write them in. So when I'm counting by fives, I always start with five. Five, 10, 15, 20. So we finished five and we finished 20. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And parents, we are still practicing this. So if your student doesn't know how to count by fives, that is okay. It's a great thing to be practicing. So ready? 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. What comes next? 45, 50. 55, 60. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, we finished 50, we finished 75, 85, 90, and now Tell me which one comes next. 95, 100. Okay. When you're done, hit submit so I can see your hard work. So now we have to circle three cents. That's not one of five, so I know it has to be pennies. So let's count, looking for three pennies. One, two, three. There it is. When you're done circling the three pennies, three cents, hit submit. Okay, now we're looking for 30 cents. So I'm going to draw my touch points. Okay. Five, ten, that's not 30 cents. Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. That's too much. Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's the right amount. When you're done, hit submit. Now we're looking for 10 cents. Five, ten, I found it on the first one. This one's too much, 5, 10, 15, 20. And this one's 1, 2. When you're done circling 5, 10 cents, hit submit. Okay, now which ones, which set of coins equals 13 cents? So here we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 cents. Hit submit. And due to limits in the length of videos, there will be a part two.